I'm gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna try using my iPad with Easy Canvas and trying to see if the pressure works on that. So let's see. So guys, a crazy logistic we're gonna do is use Easy Canvas to connect to my PC. And then since my phone is being mirrored to my PC to take control and draw on my phone on my iPad. <laughs> I know it's kind of a mouthful. All right, pause. Hey guys, it's Gary here. I'm in the middle of editing this and I wanted to let you guys know that this video is a continuation to this video right here. It's an alternative to Samsung Dex. If you guys don't know what that is, check out that video here. But basically, I'm using this app called Sentio Desktop mixed in with Samsung Flow to replicate the exact same feeling of Samsung Dex. And in this video, I'm going to be trying it out to see how it works with the iPad and my USB type my usb tablet so i did that in the beginning of the video but then i wanted i didn't know how to title it so i put all the ipad footage in the beginning so you guys will see some reverse uh, just to fill you guys in so that way you guys know what's going on let me just uh clear the layer <gasps> and it's working the pressure is working what a revolutionary day <laughs> oh man Imagine if we could do the reverse. If we could do the reverse, that would be kind of cool. So that way we could use iPad apps on Android. Oh man, once I figure that out, guys, I'll, I'll try a few more experiments. I'll definitely, oh boy, let me go. This is so, the pressure is working in Painter. Now let's try Autodesk Sketchbook. Come on. Where's Autodesk Sketchbook? Is it because I have too many apps open? I think that's just the Note 10 light lagging a little bit. Let's see, can close that. There we go. And boom, the pressure is working in Autodesk too. These are too dry ass. Let me zoom in, oh boy. So guys, I have both my regular pen drawing tablet with my iPad. I'm gonna try the pen tablet first and see if the pressure would still work on here. So let me just make a new layer. Let me just hide this one. And let's just see if the pressure would still work. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. The pressure is working. Oh my gosh. This, is, this has to be a whole separate video itself of me trying this out. Oh boy, guys. The pressure is working. Oh man, let me zoom in, guys. Let me zoom in. Oh my gosh. Let me try Autodesk Sketchbook. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where's Autodesk? Where's Autodesk? I should have put it in window mode so that I could easily go back. Oh, there we go, there we go. I can't have it in window mode open. Okay, you guys see? The pressure is working! Ah! Okay, let me zoom in. <laughs> guys, this is the setup I'm rocking. This is the Samsung Note 10 Lite. Uh, my Intuos um, pen and touch drawing tablet. And my PC, where it's all working from Samsung Flow. So now let's zoom in. <laughs> All right, guys, we might have found the Dex dual canvas perfect mode that we've been looking for because this is working. I don't know if you guys could see it as well as I do, if I need to go in closer. I'm also trying to get the tablet in frame so that way you guys could see, like, I'm not using my phone for this. Like, the pressure is just working. Whoa, I'm just, ah. Like, trying to see real world use if this works. I'll make a whole separate video about that, trying to see, doing a whole speed paint because, whoa, the pressure actually works. And this is Autodesk Sketchbook, and then this is a whole other app. Is there a way for me to, uh, this is Painter. Let me just make a new layer. It's even working in this app. Like, the strokes are a little bit slow sometimes, and I feel like um, that depends on your different connection in Samsung Flow. I'm using the cable, so it should be the best. But hey, I could try just using it over Wi-Fi and seeing how well the pressure translates. Because if it does, this is, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I know it's like a weird whole setup, but I just wanted to try this out, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the pressure is working. Like this is all that Samsung needs to do and just perfect it. So guys, here's a close-up. Maybe I should clear my layer too. You know what, let me do it on the Samsung Note Lite. Because it's just cool to be able to switch back between three devices like that. Like, I, I feel like I'm a baller. Oh my god. Like, ah! Not a baller in case that I have all these items and I'm bragging about them. I'm just bragging like, how cool is it that these things actually work with each other. And they're like, 
three different operating systems and it's just it's just crazy like oh that's that's what i've been hoping for i knew this was possible like ah like oh man the developers don't even have to do that much now like a company needs to go ahead and just like optimize the heck out of this like oh oh yeah that's right i'm drawing on my, my phone i meant to draw on the ipad but i could show you guys how it easy i streamlines it is to just work back and forth Oh boy, and I still have my um, tab, oh, my lifts connected, so that way you guys could see all in one. Oh boy. <laughs> this is, was my very first graphic tablet, and I still have it to this day. And oh boy, oh man, I'm so excited. I, uh, if only I discovered this before I sold my Cintiq. But either way, it'll all work, guys. Ah, uh, it works! I'm just kind of, I know these are like ugly doodles and I could zoom in right there and I could still use my mouse and keyboard. Ah, Samsung Flow is revolutionary and whoever made this app, Santio Desktop, this is the revolutionary. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And you guys don't need to buy anything else with your phone. Like, I'm just using my charging cable because that's one of the connections there's so many ways you could connect to samsung flow you could just do it wirelessly and ah it's like oh boy this is actually working this is actually working